Big up to the boys. Fox and Shane. Set your minds free, no locks and chains. Do what you love. Roll the dice. 50 50, we cold as ice. One thing cold, but the pillow turn red. Kill it, bitch. I'm in my head, war gaming. Good day and welcome to the Hobby Homies Tabletop Podcast. I'm your longtime host, Churchy, and with me today is a very special guest, Big Shaz Wazza. Well, Churchy, it's, it's an honour to be here. Yep, I thought you might say that. Now, Shaz Wazza, <laughs> I hear you've got some questions for me. I have plenty of questions for you, Churchy. As you guys know, Fox has changed. Um, no, he's not here. It is myself, Shane, and of course, Churchy yep. escaped from the void. Shaz was I escaped from the void, actually. I think you're fine. I'm the longtime host. This has been my podcast. Okay, sorry. I've had, so, you know, had, had my little, little you know, shine there. I'll go back yep, to the yep. void. Back to the void with you. You know, we don't we don't pay you to, to podcast. <laughs> Wait, we're getting paid. <laughs> Wait, does, am I getting paid for this one? Um, <clears throat> we've decided to hang out and uh, talk some shit today. Pretty so, much. So, yeah, we have... Um, and our, our reins cut loose. We There's have. no fox here. It's just a couple of couple of dudes hanging out. A couple of uh, <laughs> what's that word? Larrikins. Larrikins. Sort of yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody oath. So, Churchy, no, look, I've known you for. What's our topic for today? Well, our topic today is just content to, creation. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that is a little bit of a topic. There is a topic. We've so, got some yeah. good stuff to talk about. Um, yeah. And like I've known you for 25 years. I'm going to say since like grade yep. one. I reckon. Yep. Sounds about right. And I know a lot about you. You do. Probably a lot more than some listeners know. Yeah. And I know what I, well, what I can remember <laughs> about you. Is what I, is what I know. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. it's it's a lot. It's of course. just my memory's not the best. So. Yeah, that's fair. Well, it's all right. <laughs> I do myself a disservice. I'm too, I'm too no. hard on myself. You're Being right. a long time host and all. It yeah. takes right. its toll. It, it takes it, its toll. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I'm sure there's things that I don't know about you. So I want to ask mm. a couple of questions around yourself and the okay. aspect of content on content creation. Okay. So Sounds good to me. We're going to get to know each other on a level that's not th- have some wines and come back to my place kind okay. of level. This not is a different quite level. There. Yeah, ne- we're, nearly. We're sort of backing off. From, yeah. We were that far now. Yeah, we're taking it a couple of a steps bit. back. Okay. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. <laughs> I can be a bit full on sometimes, you know. Shaz needed oh, a break, no. so. <laughs> oh, what's this phone going oh, off? Oh. Very, very We're important. in the middle of an important podcast. I know. This is shocking. What are you doing here? So that's why I, I keep him in the void. <laughs> at um, at what point sort of was it when you decided that uh, you wanted to become a content creator? Never really. <laughs> like I didn't. Um, so I mean, I've always mucked around and made random videos and stuff, but but I never really. Uh, thanks, mate. Yeah, well, no. Um, mate. But I didn't. Um, I guess the most active choice, but again, this was mostly just like, I never set out to be like, I'm going to make videos and get on YouTube and like get, start, you know, make a progress and be a content creator. Yeah. I, was, I was more sort of like me and some mates were hanging out. And originally we had this idea where we were going to do like a, um, a gaming house and then we were going to make, so we were going to make YouTube videos and stuff, but it yeah. wasn't really, it was more just for ourselves. Okay. Like it wasn't going to be, um, like the idea wasn't, oh yeah, we'll get on YouTube and start yeah. raking in the subs. Get and monetized. Stuff. And yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. So then that sort of like fell through, like, or didn't eventuate really. Yeah. Um, but that was kind of the the thing that started spurring it on, like for me, because it was like, oh yeah, start making these random videos, talking about games I like, finding different, um, different, uh, yeah, different uh, videos to make about games. So yeah. Like, guides and uh you know just playthroughs and stuff and whatever yeah, whatever yeah. random idea i had or like game reviews or first impressions and yeah and then that was sort of like the initial thing so i'd say and that was a few years ago now but like i'd say that was kind of the the initial way i got into content creation yeah like yeah um 
and then what made it easy for me is like I have an audio visual background anyway. Like I've got a diploma of digital film and television. I have a diploma of sound production. Yeah, so yeah. It's just a natural fit. Yeah. To... So it's all stuff that you've learned from like school and from uni and yeah, TAFEs and, and stuff and, like that. And basically like I already had a foundation in it anyway because yep. I've just mucked around with it for years. Yeah. And then I've had these courses that have filled in a few blanks like over nice. the over the yeah course of time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. What, Funnily enough, this is, it was the same question I wanted to ask you. Well, there was one of them. So well, I guess I'm a guest on your show. You are so a guest on my show. Makes sense that you question and, me. And you know, given that I've been <laughs> been hosting this show for quite a long time now, um, I've always wondered what got you into con- content creation. Well, Churchy, that is such a good question. I'm glad yeah, you asked. Yeah. I was. Um, I'm going to say I was really inspired, probably by a lot of the stuff that I watch you do over the years. Oh, yeah. Um, Because like you said, yeah, you've always... Well, I have hosted this podcast for such a long time. It's been like 15 years. It has been 15. (laughs) 15 long, hard years I've hosted this podcast. And look, of course, you're going to take some inspiration from from a long-running podcast such as as this Of course. Mm. (laughs) Um, But um, like, I guess I don't really know what sort of inspired me to like to come to here. Like Fox and I just came up with the idea mm. and then and then that's when we started talking to you about you doing all the the magic behind what happens here um and and making it all possible and it's just evolved really like what started as us hanging up some like dunas and stuff and yep. to like try and sound treat it yeah to <laughs> being here on youtube doing live episodes and battle reports and it's just like a, it's almost like a snowball effect, you know, like it's just, it is, yeah. it's kept growing and growing and one little, like, you know, one door opens and it allows us to do so much more. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's always been, <laughs> that has always been, uh, I mean, this is like another little side note thing, I guess it's not really relevant to the question, but, um, <laughs> but I was just going to say like, it's been really cool just seeing like, what I've always loved is how we keep, we'll, we'll add something, get yep. the workflow down for that, add something new continue to get the workflow down yeah. and then we just keep yeah. adding more and more and it's just like yeah but yeah anyway. it's almost like one one part sort of gets not mastered but we yeah, get a firm get grip competent. on it and then get, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and then that, we, that allows us to add something else yeah. new then it takes less time to focus on the, the yeah. previous thing we were focusing on because yeah. we've started to really nail it yeah and then yeah, yeah. yeah. getting a good workflow and everything like that yeah. together yeah exactly yeah yeah <clears throat> so it's, it's interesting like you know these days, content creation is so easy. Anyone can do it with, with a, an iPhone or a Samsung, a smartphone, I should say. It is crazy. Yeah, and like, you can just film whatever you're doing and put it on YouTube instantly yep. or all the different platforms. So like, for those people out there who've thought about doing stuff like this, go for it. Just do it, Do man. it. Do it. <laughs> Start it's, streaming yeah. on Twitch or YouTube. Start talking into a microphone with your mate and putting it up on Podbean or Buzzsprout or whatever For sure. podcasting platform you want to do. Buzzsprout, oh man. Yeah. That, that was the first one. That was the first it? one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and like, you know, whether you just have a shitload of fun doing it or whether you meet some meet some people that you'll probably know for the rest of your hobby life, yep. you know, it's um, absolutely worth doing. I think, the, I think yeah, it's, it's the important thing as well, I would say, is just do it for yourself. Yeah. Like don't, don't go into it with a mindset of like, yeah, I'm going to do this and get super popular and be yeah. making videos about this because that's not how it works really. No. Like you, you've, you've just got to do something that you're passionate about, that you want to, that you enjoy yourself yeah. and to make the videos like for yourself and for your friends kind of thing. Like it should be, that should be the main thing. And then if it happens to get popular and you happen to start making money off of it, that's awesome. That's a win. But that's, yeah. you know, that's not the... No. primary thing that it's about you know yeah you can't go in with that mindset because it's a grind it's mm. a massive grind and if you go in thinking you're going to make millions of dollars and and you know get one of those fancy youtube gold plaques for a million subscribers or whatever mm. it is <clears throat> if that's your goal i think you might burn yourself out before you get there mm. unless you strike it really lucky but if you go in just wanting to have a shitload of fun um whether you're talking to five people or 500 people um if you're enjoying it then that's that's what it's worth that's it yep. that's that's the goal is just to have fun doing it which we do every yeah. day and every i would day. say i would say another another side of that too is like this is this is interesting because if you if you're doing something you're enjoying it's really easy to do right 
but also if you are doing something that's completely new to you, like making videos and all that, then you just pick up all these random skills along the way and then yeah. you can then you just have a chance to practice those skills. Like yeah. So I've learned I mean the last couple of years I've like refined my audio skills a lot more and my video like visual audio skills and the, just the whole the whole kit I've yeah, just worked yeah. on and developed and um yeah. and yeah, gotten much more competent at. And yeah, yeah, bloody yeah. So so if you yeah, so whatever you do, it'll be like you'll pick up skills along the way. So mm. that's another bonus of, <laughs> yeah, of, of getting into making stuff. And, and just having fun too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Chochi, what is your, what's your process when you, like, do you sit down and say, all right, I want to make a video. What's your sort of um, step-by-step -step process? Like, do you have to come up, obviously come up with the idea first, but but where do you go from there? Um, so for me, it's it's weird. Sometimes I will have like an idea and want to actually like make something complete and proper and then other times i just kind of wing it like I'll, oh, yeah. I'll sort of um so sometimes it's like a dot point yep and other times it's like a fully scripted video yeah so, yeah yeah um so my process is usually like for a fully for a fully produced one usually it'll be a process of like i'll sit down write a script yeah and for some of the like more hardcore videos that can take me like multiple days yeah. or like a week or sometimes even like two weeks i think oh wow some of the longest one just like prepping the script. yeah just like prepping the script Far and, and that'll be when like if it's a game the two longest ones have been game reviews yeah <clears> yeah <throat> yeah so that was when i like and one was sort of a review but also just kind of praising the game and that was the yeah. uh, like starcraft 2 why you should play starcraft 2 video. oh yeah yep um and then the other one was a review of um godonia which is like a uh rpg fantasy rpg thing that like one yep. guy is working on ah oh, nice so for both of those the the script writing time was super long yeah so usually what it is is like i'll be writing the script and playing the game and like thinking of things about the script and stuff and then um and and in the past it was like i didn't have the gameplay ready to go but then so with the starcraft one i just had to go in and record it all new yeah yep but then with the uh with the other one godonia well, actually, partly I had recorded stuff, but I had to go and record a lot more. Yeah. But I guess it's that that th that's the other part of it too. Like usually I'll record some gameplay, but then also I'll I'll always have to go back in and um, record more and get like because there'll be like a shot of something I want that I'm uh, talking about, and I'll be like, right, I haven't got things. that. Yeah. So then that's yep. kind of the so the first stage is like script writing slash yep. playing the game and recording game gameplay like just general okay. gameplay. Yep. And then the second stage is like, all right, I've got the script, so I record the audio, cut that up. Um, and then start like editing and chucking footage that I can use. Or if I know I want a specific bit of footage, I'll yep. go and like get that. Yep. And then once I've done that, then I'll chuck in some music in the background or whatever. Once the edit's all good. Yep. And then I'll export it and chuck it on YouTube. That's and it. That's pretty much the, the full <laughs> full process. You make it sound very very straightforward, uh, which I don't believe it is. No, it can be can be a bit weird. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so but the way you the way you've laid that out is just like. Obviously, you've done this for a while, so you know yeah. what you're doing. You've made a shitload of videos. But, like, for someone starting out, I might listen to that and be like, oh, easy. Yeah. Easy. But then they might get caught on making the script. Yeah. I think know? I think that's the key there is as well is, like, you have to have an idea. Yeah. Or if you're winging it, you have to, like... Because the, the other one is, like, completely winging it in terms of um, where, for example, like, cutting together, like, highlights of a, of a gaming session yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But that's that's sort of easier in a way and a bit different because it's... You just play a game, something cool happens. Like, you're playing a game with mates all by yourself, something cool happens. Yeah. You're recording the whole session, then you just take that and cut the best bits and then maybe put a bit of, like, narration at the start or something. Yeah, and, and just explaining what game yeah, you're playing yeah, or what you're doing. Like what happened yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. Um, and then maybe chuck some music in at key points, but, like... So yeah. you think like, obviously a, like a highlights reel or something like that would be, would, would you say it's a better place for people to start on? Like if they um, wanted to make content? Potentially, but it's, it's less unique. Like yeah. it's less, but then nothing's, nothing's unique these days. So yeah. honestly, again, that, that's kind of where I'd say it just comes back to what's fun. Like yeah. it's, it's sort yeah. of like whatever you have the most fun doing, yeah. do that. Cause that's, what's gonna like, I find like for me, when it's something I'm having a lot of fun with, that's when I do my best work. Yeah. Cause like. If I try and like force myself to make a video about something that I'm not enjoying, yeah, then I feel like I'm sort of wasting my time, and I'm yeah. not really gonna, uh, not really gonna 
enjoy the process because yeah. I'll be like, fuck, I'm just doing this to cater to people, which yeah. is like, which you can kind of fall into that trap a little bit. And I think maybe a little bit of that's okay if you, you know, if, if, if things start to take off and you do want to try and monetize a bit, I think yeah. a little bit of that is just kind of being wise and being like, all right, well, this is what this people is, yeah. watching my content want. So yeah, let's make but, more content for them. But then you got to walk a fine line with that because yep. you've got to be like, unless you want to get trapped into one thing, yep. which is so easy to happen. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Then, then yeah, you need to kind of like, um, yeah, just kind of be willing to be willing to like walk that line of like, I'll release a few videos about this game, but I'll yep. keep covering other other games or whatever your content is. Yeah. Like, don't get, say you're a hobby podcast, don't get pigeonholed into, like, just covering 40K or whatever. Yeah, yeah, which Make is sure you know, so you know, easy to unless do. Unless you want to do that. Unless you want to do that. <laughs> that's like, right. If that's yep. all you want to focus on, do that. Yep. Like, yep. if it's working for you and you're enjoying it, go for it, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny that you mentioned that, like, getting sort of, yeah, pigeonholed and stuck into that one, one thing, which yeah. can be, it can be, if you're chasing, you know, what people want and, and sort of you start focusing less on what you want... Mm. It's like, yeah, it's a difficult sort of like setup because like you've got to, you want to enjoy what you're creating as well. For sure. Not only do you want everyone else to enjoy it, but you've got to enjoy it too because if you don't, that shows, that rubs off. People does, know. And does. like, then they might be like, oh, he's just doing it because that's what people want. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, man. It's such a, like, I guess like it, as easy as it can be to, to create content for people, it, it's also very difficult very difficult to create mm. good good content um content that everyone's going to enjoy as well as yourself i suppose yeah 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 and i mean talking of getting trapped like for me that started to happen with outward oh, of course Out outward was a game that i started covering yeah. a lot and i made build guides and stuff and they started it's what made my channel start to to like get popular enough to monetize and you've stuff. got outward videos with like three hundred thousand views yeah yeah they're the, more they're probably the most, yeah, yeah. the most viewed ones yeah yeah, um, yeah. That's, like that's just insane. Margin. But in saying that too, this is like, this is why I think it's important to, to just do other things that you enjoy and, um, and make sure you don't get pigeonholed into one thing. So what I started doing as well is like, and this is, if you're a gaming channel, this was kind of like, all right. Yeah. Um, technically I'm not a gaming channel, but I'll talk, well, I am, but I'm also other things, hopefully. I'll yeah. A things. hybrid. Yeah. I'm a yeah. hybrid channel, but yeah. I'll, I'll get into that a bit later maybe. But, um, but yeah, with the, like, so I was, I was making heaps of outward videos, but then the problem is like, I started to get a little bit over it, needed a break. Yeah. And I'd played like, I've played hundreds of hours of that game and, and like, it's just, you, you do start to, um, you know, you get bored of things. You, yeah. You need a bigger break. It's still yeah, fun. Like, you yeah. still love the game and you want to go back and play it. Like yeah. I definitely would just, if someone's like, Hey, do you want to play some outward or whatever? Like yeah. co-op, I'd be like, I'd be like, hell yeah, man. Um, but or like I would definitely consider doing another stream playthrough on Twitch or whatever or on YouTube. But yep. but it's definitely like a case of you've played something for hundreds of hours, you've made a bunch of different videos about it, you want a break, you want to start playing other games and stuff. So then a great way to do that on a gaming channel is to start doing like sort of the highlight reel thing. So you play a game for a few hours, record the session, take the best moments, put that into a montage, yep. you know, whack it on YouTube. And then if people start biting... Yep. Yeah. Then you might think, all right, cool. I'll make a couple more videos for this game. Yeah. Um, so for me, that game was Stalker Anomaly. Yes. So I started making videos for that. Another one of your and popular then, ones. Yeah. Which is and then that was another popped. one that took yep. off. So that one reached, I think it's nearly at 100,000. Yeah. The, the yep. most popular one of that. But then that's a whole nother section of uh, people that are interested in that game. Yeah. And for me, that's great because I love that game. Yeah. And it's another game. So yeah. like, I love Outward. I love Stalker Anomaly. So then you've suddenly got two games that you can muck around and make videos for and that you really love. So, but yeah. separate streams too. Yeah. But then you, um, yeah. So you, so you've got those two games that you love that you can play. Yeah. But you're also enjoying them and the audience is getting something out of it. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, yeah. I don't know, I'm sort of rambling a bit, but, you know, you get the idea. <laughs> no, absolutely. I'm glad you mentioned streaming because I wanted to ask you what do you enjoy more, creating solid planned out videos or jumping on a stream? Creating solid planned out videos, but streaming is way easier. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just harder to get popular, I think, or okay. like it's harder to drive traffic, I think, when you're streaming, which is why it's good to like, if you build some content first and then start streaming, it's yep. easier because yep. that's what I did. Yeah, um, righto. Yep. And then, and I mean, even now, I still don't get many views on my streams, but, and usually it's people coming from my content yep. just to kind of like 
you know, be like, hey, you know, I saw this video or that video and, like, yeah. you know, now I'm here to support you here, and it's, which is awesome. Like, I love it. Um, but I would say if you, if you start out with nothing at, at zero and all you're doing is, is streaming on Twitch, yeah. you need to be either doing something really cool or yeah. be really lucky. Yeah, because, okay, yeah. Because Twitch is like, yeah, I mean, even YouTube as well. Just, yeah. Just live streaming in general, yeah. I feel like. yeah. Just from my experiences as well, I just feel like it's much, it's much easier. Yeah. If you're entertaining and you're, you know, I mean, if you're, um, yeah, if you're if you're an entertaining enough personality or whatever, or like some, I mean, I'm not that entertaining, but if people are getting something out of the content, um, then yeah, that's that's good. But it's much harder to, so it's but so it's super easy to sit yeah. there and like play a game and and present and talk as you go along. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then th- it's much harder to, kind of go viral i guess yeah sort of like, yeah definitely it's still super hard on youtube yeah like making super well designed content and stuff but yeah twitch versus youtube yeah but anyway the question was which do i enjoy more <laughs> and i and i prefer i prefer making like much more thought out content and like yeah because then it's a whole thing and you get to like it's really fun when you see the finished product and you know mm. like i've worked for days on a script and then i've edited for a few days and like really put thought into this and now yeah. it's on YouTube and it's done and like, yeah. And then it gets five views and you're like, oh, ah, yeah. whatever. And <laughs> yeah. then that's, and then that's to kind of like tie it back to what we were talking about earlier. That's where making something that you enjoy for yourself is really important. Yeah. Cause you might do that. You might spend two weeks making something, put it on YouTube and it gets 50 views. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all the views it'll ever get. Um, yeah. But if you're cool with it and you enjoyed making it, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, if you so, yeah if you learned tricks and and stuff mm, along the way, that it, mm. it, I guess it kind of makes it worth it. But exactly, I could definitely imagine the the, the hours and that spent into something, and then just have it sort of like not flop, but just yeah. sort of like your diehards watch it. Yeah, and then that's it. Yep. Yeah, and then and then that's the like that's the important thing too to be like, if you do make something like that, it's really easy to get disheartened if it only gets yeah. like twenty views or whatever. But then the key is to like, if you if you're determined and you want to just keep doing it, yeah, move on to the next thing. Yeah, and yeah. that will let me ask you a good question. It's a good little segue here, right? <laughs> oh, nice. So what I want to ask you is, um, you and Fox have been doing this podcast for uh, a couple of years now. It's been a little while, um, and you've been really, really consistent. Thank you, you. You have been incredibly consistent. <laughs> and weekly, almost. Yeah, weekly, pretty much weekly. Like the only times it's you, you miss the very occasional one. Yeah. And then even then, most weeks when you know that you're not going to be able to record, yeah. you have content ready to... Don't tell them, dude. <laughs> we record everything live. You're, nothing is pre-recorded and ready to you're go. You're knocking down the fourth There's wall, man. There's nothing on the... Oh, no. What have I done? Oh, the void. It's coming. No, but anyway. But no, like, you'll usually make sure you've got something lined up or yeah. you'll try and do something. Like, there has been a couple of times last minute where we've like made something just because we have to yeah we've recorded like this this one this one yeah well um, this time yesterday we fox and i had yeah. been spent days planning an episode <laughs> until today um but here we are so my question is yeah how do you guys manage to be so consistent like what what keeps that consistency um i would say probably just because it's hard sheer man. sheer crushing stress <laughs> and pressure yep, of course and many of these, uh, uh. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm not sure, man. Like, I just think like, like Fox and I, we can be so different at times, but then at the same time, very much the same. Like our brains can be on the same wavelength. We've both sent messages to each other, like simultaneously reading the same thing, you know, and stuff like that. So I, I don't know, like things just gel. Um, we can, we just... Yeah, we'll, we'll plan something out. If it falls through, we come up with something else. Like, it's just, yeah, I don't know how. I, I, don't, I don't know how we do it. Yeah. Like, there's been times where, I mean, well, there's been times when you could look at it and be like, ah, oh, you know, I've only got like one day. We'll just miss this week. And then we go, nah, no, no, no. Let's fucking yeah. sit down, plan something out, make it happen. Yep. Whether it's a shit episode or not, who cares? Yep. Like, we'll get something done. We learn from doing it. Um, and yeah, and I can't really think of anything that we've had to fill that we've just, li- we've like recorded and gone like, ah, oh, that was just such a filler episode, you know, like yep. we generally try and do our best to make it work. 
yeah so yeah. yeah i don't know man can Consi- like the way how we are consistent i yeah. have no idea because it's, <laughs> it's really interesting to me because i know i'm not that consistent i mean like health issues and stuff i've had aside i feel like i'm still not that consistent and also um because it's it's interesting because i feel like there's so many projects yeah you you know you talk with mates and you're like yeah let's do this thing let's let's go ahead and do it yeah and, and yeah. everyone gets all hyped yeah you do it for like a month <laughs> maybe maybe two or three yeah and then everyone's just kind of like eh, whatever. it's like and everyone fucks off it's like you're out on, like out in the piss or something like and you're like dude let's start a bakery yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and but then see, yeah but see so but from my perspective <laughs> right yeah from my perspective right it's like that but it actually happens so it's like well here we are you know years later with our bakery <laughs> yeah, and our bakery. multiple ovens and our you know yeah. and our Making, you know, making hot, hot making mince hot pies. And, and <laughs> mince pies. And oh, now we've started to make cakes as well. And, you know, so yeah, it's... Yeah. So from my perspective, and I mean, like, honestly, that's the other crazy thing for me, right? This has become, like, part of my employment. That's how much it's, it's you know... So, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's crazy to me. And that's... And I think that is just because in the past, there's been so many things that I've tried to start with people that have just, like, petered out really quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this has just been constant. It's, it's yeah. it is it's it's crazy, but I, I absolutely know what you're saying. Like, yeah. I remember back in the day of like trying to get people to have like make a band, and it's like oh, we'll do fuck. one band practice, that and then it's one. like, <laughs> and that probably happened, oh. that probably happened to you. She's like happened to me like three times. Yeah, yeah. but you were you're the one. you're the musical one out of us two. <laughs> I know that one. Though, that's yeah. Band one. Yeah, let's make a band. Yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's yeah. do a band. And then like not have even one. one yeah, have one practice session one, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Yeah. And then yeah. Everyone, and someone's and then, always not there. And then, so yeah, and then yeah. somehow it just never like goes anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and like oh I don't know it's just yeah that one we could rant about that oh, one for, man. for ages. That's it. But I think it's just passion. Like it is. Yeah. Like we've always said, like. Fox and I, we would like we would send voice messages to each other daily, and like most of it was what we talk about on the podcast. Yep. You know, obviously we've expanded and and start doing like deep dives and and stuff like that, which we like. I wouldn't give him fifteen hours of of you know Lovecraft lore yep. or something like that. He wouldn't talk about. That sounds, well, that sounds tasty. Though. He he'd that, probably tell. I'd talk about Lovecraft lore for like yeah. Oof. Man. I was going to say he wouldn't send me that of crew law, but he probably would. But oh, yeah, yeah. we're just like, fuck it. Let's just like just record it and see if anyone is crazy enough to listen. Yeah. And yeah. and then, yeah, here we are doing things on YouTube with videos and... and so the key is passion. Stuff. Passion. Be passion. passionate, okay. I think. Be passionate. Which, which all ties back to like you were saying earlier. Yeah. You've got to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't enjoy it, this wouldn't... This wouldn't we wouldn't be doing it. Wouldn't yeah. be every week bar like... Three. <laughs> so I guess the two core things then is like, be passionate, be willing to learn something. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That kind of seems what everything boils down to. Really, like, it yeah. really does. Yeah. Like, and everything like whether it's a new hobby, you know, whether you're new to the tabletop gaming hobby, you gotta, you don't have to be passionate. But if you are and you're willing to learn something new, then you'll pick up a brush and you'll you'll start killing it. You'll start. It's funny because you can yeah. apply those two things to like so much, in, so much yeah. in life. Yeah, it's just yeah. good life lessons. Yep. This is life lessons <laughs> with Shane and Jack. It's the first oh. time I've called myself Jack. People don't know who Jack is. <laughs> oh, that f- it's like Jack. an alter ego. I know. <laughs> Who's Churchy, man? I don't know. Some dude that we pay. He's not even here today. <laughs> his coat is though. God. <laughs> Leaving his shit everywhere. Yeah. Oh. I'll have to have a word with this churchy guy. You'll have to. Yep. <laughs> Give him a written Wait warning. a minute. <laughs> He is me. <laughs> me all along. <laughs> um, oh man, I want to know. Right, you've you've done some some pretty big stuff, but like, what would yep. the what would the biggest project you've worked on, like like video wise or whatever? Oh, like, man. Okay, so there's a couple because some of them are music ones, yep. which is okay. I'll quickly mention like so my channel. Right, I I always thought of it. Want I wanted it to be an extension of myself. Yep. Which is why. It started to have music on there and hopefully now that I'm getting healthy again, it'll yep. soon have some like hiking or camping videos on there because the yep. three main things I'm into is video games, music, and then like hiking and camping and yep. outdoor stuff, yeah, which I yeah. just haven't done for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, and actually, admittedly, the outdoor stuff has been a much more recent thing in, in terms of what I've enjoyed. Yeah. Um, but um, but yeah, so so for me, the the biggest projects have been basically music-wise working on like albums worth of content or like 
you know EPs effectively, like you know six, seven tracks. Yeah, yeah. Um, some of them a bit a bit longer. Like you've got a lot um, of those on Bandcamp. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I got, I've got a bunch of those on Bandcamp, and yeah. that's all like royalty free music. Yeah. So part of that as an overall project that's been massive in a way it's it's been easy because it's yeah. very on and off and i just work on something when i want to but that's like for me i've always wanted a um to have like a library of music that anyone can just like yeah. pay for and use and um and i mean i know there's heaps of like websites to do that anyway yeah but i just thought oh yeah i can make music so i'll start building up my own collection and if people want to buy it and use it then they can yeah yeah um so that as it's as its own project has been massive because that's where I've been like, all right, I want to make a set of six tracks that's Metal Pack Volume 1 yep. or Epic Pack Volume 1 or yep. like yep. Lo -fi. Apocalyptic, yeah, or Lo-Fi yeah, chill, yeah. chill Volume 1 or yep. whatever. So, I frequent that one yeah. a lot in my videos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I use it a lot in my videos because that's why I made that one. I was like, hey, I need some like Lo-Fi chill shit to put yeah. in the back of my yeah. YouTube videos. Absolutely. Here we go. And then I heard yeah. it in your video. I was yeah. like, oh, there we go. That's Chill Volume 1. That one track is... Track number six, track, mate. Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. And I was so lazy with that one. I think I literally just called them like track one. Yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah, yeah. Except Some the of them I tried, yeah. Lucky Ben. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get Bonus ben. chilling with Ben. <laughs> yeah, because that one was fun because we made that in like 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, Because yeah. I was like, oh, man, I've been working on this lo-fi stuff. And he yeah. was around having a beer. And and then uh, basically I was, we were like just chilling. And I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. Like, oh, yeah. look, oh, oh, let's make one now. And yeah, we had yeah. a few beers and stuff. <laughs> so that's how that one came about. Nice. But, um, but yeah, like, so that's sort of been... That one's been a massive project, but sort of easy. And I actually have like a couple more packs basically nearly ready to go. Nice. Because I'm getting to that point, like a, a Norse one. Yes. I just need to make maybe Ooh. one or more two tracks. Ooh. Like a very Viking, like, <sighs> kind of whatever oh, thing. Bellheim. Um, yeah, yeah, man. Mm. And um, <laughs> then, yeah, there's a couple other random ones. And, you know, because I just, I work on music on and off, on and off, on and off. Yep. I've always done that. Um, so this is a great way to like slowly but surely just build up a big library of tracks so easy but long term and yep. kind of massive scope of the project um, yeah yeah and that'll be handy too if i start getting back into the filmmaking which yep. i sort of want to do like i've done yep. a little bit of that in the past but um that's definitely something i'm looking at getting back into which may then feature on my channel because yes. it'll be you know something uh something that i enjoy and so on it's an extension of myself yada yada yep um big projects film and video wise and and so Gaming video-wise, I'd definitely say the biggest ones were the StarCraft video and the Godonia video that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, yep, yep. Just because they have been, they were such huge processes because I, because I really, like, and they were ones where I just loved the process. Like, those were the ones where I was like, fuck, I love doing this. Um, because it was really, was that thing of, like, writing the script over days and days and days yep. and, like, soaking in information that I'm enjoying from the game and being like, yeah, I fucking love that. I'll write about that. And, like... <laughs> that was an awesome moment and then and then yeah um and then yeah just thinking as well like oh that's a really cool thing that, to put in my video like something cool that happened in the gameplay yep. or you know like oh i can use that and then and then that process of like i said like searching out those bits of footage that you want so you go back yep. into the game and you're like all right i'll go and do this and get footage of this yeah do one and, specific um, mission or yeah. part or whatever yeah exactly yeah. so so just that process of like yeah i got this cool weapon and i'll show you how, how this spell works yeah. or whatever or like here's this cool cutscene in starcraft that i want to include in the video somewhere and like with those two um, videos sorry to interrupt but were those no, two no videos like were they long videos i, I can't I, i've um, watched them i know sort I've watched of, them, the, the starcraft one's one of my longer ones yeah the Godoni one i think was about 15 minutes so okay. they're both on the medium side yeah yeah but they're also more refined and there's a yeah. lot more information packed in them so some of my videos are like 40 minutes long or whatever yeah. like one of my uh outward ones is like 45 minutes or something yeah and it's and it's a guide that's a step by it's, step it's like the, yeah, yeah it's like here's yeah. this go and do this but it has lots of um it shows a lot of what you're doing yeah so it's so it's that's why it's long yeah yeah it's not actually that much information yeah Whereas these ones, it's very much like, you know, story about the whatever. I don't know. Well, the, yeah, the yeah. StarCraft one is very much like, here's some lore about this race and here's what like kind of happens and like, yep. here's why I love this and love that and da 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 da, da And like, because I cover like each different campaign a little bit and talk oh, about okay. it. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, but it's, and talk about like mechanics and stuff. Yep. And um, so they're shorter, but there's much more info. So, yep. and they're much, much more refined. Yeah. Like they're, they're the ones that I kind of spent just 
ridiculous amounts of time being like, all right, I want to get this just right and I want the audio level just right here and like, which is really fun because when you get that obsessed and you're that passionate and you're enjoying something that much, hours and hours go by and you've suddenly spent like eight hours working on editing something. Yeah. And you're like, shit, man, where, where did the day go? <laughs> Where's the like, day gone? Yeah, But absolutely. you love it because you're like, yeah. shit, dude. Like, yeah. You've got yeah. work done. Like, I'm sure you felt that when you did your um your fence building thing. Oh, man. Like, Talk about having very little information in that but being a long ep- long video. Mm. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I'll make this like 20 minutes and then I'm like, finish recording and like, I'm like, fuck, it's like 40 minutes long. Dude, I loved it. I loved it. Because oh, for, for someone like me that knows fuck all about the hobby... <laughs> like in terms of like how do you assemble stuff and paint stuff and do stuff. It was great because it was like every little detail that you would need. And that's something that I've always thought of, um, especially when I'm making guides and stuff. Yeah. There's so many, because this was something that always bugged me as well. There's so many guides online where they assume prior knowledge. Oh, yeah. And, and Absolutely. they assume like that you know. And I think you kind of did some of the same in your video, but like they'll assume you know something or whatever. And like, so for, for example, with Outward, yeah, I had seen, oh, I can't remember what it was, but anyway, basically I'd seen a couple of videos where it was like pretty much showing, it's like, here's this and that, but you're like, dude, you didn't explain. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and I noticed it with it's so like, many other games. There? I was like, because there's so many games where it's yeah. like, oh yeah, such and such guide or build or whatever. And you're like, they show you an end game build and they've got all the shit. Yeah. And they don't tell you how to get the shit or something. And <laughs> yeah. they're just like, here's this fucking badass thing and this is what you want to get. And you do get that and you do this spell. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, how did you get and that armor win. and weapon? And how yeah. did you get that spell? And where did you go? What did you fight? Yeah. Whereas, so then, so then for me, in terms of that, I, w- I would be thinking like, all right, so I want to show like from the beginning of the game. Yeah. You'll need gold or silver yeah. or whatever the currency is in the game. So you're going to need to farm that. How you're going to get money. Yeah, so yeah. you'll need to farm that. Yeah. And then I'd be like, all right, well, I've got these videos about farming money. Mm-hmm. So you can go and watch that if you need money. Yeah, yep. And then I'd go like, all right, so now step one, you want to go and talk to this guy. But in Outward's case, there's people spread all over the maps. Yeah. There's different routes that you could take to get here. So I just show the most efficient. I'm like, okay. so you want to start. So it might be some weird route of like, it won't be like by section. Like it won't be like, go and get all your skills. Now go yeah. and get all your weapons. Now go and get all your armor. It'll be like, you've just started the game. The most efficient way is to go and get this skill. Yeah. Now head here and get this armor or this weapon. Yeah. Now head over to here and buy these skills. Yeah. Um, okay. And so I you're always assume that you had the money. Pieces that was the go. thing that I, the one thing that I skipped was like farming yeah. money each video. Cause I'll be like, yeah. all right, well, you've got the money already. Here's how you can get money. Yeah. And I'd always do it efficiently. And it was funny cause you'd see comments every now and then like, this isn't how you're meant to play the game and you don't play the game like this. Like, that's so boring and blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, I'm just showing you the most efficient way, man. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a guide. Yeah. I've just got the money to make the video efficient. You, I'm not going to go out and show no. you like live farming of farming up 5,000 silver yeah, every yeah. time I make a guide. Or you play the like, game that you the way that you want to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Play the game the way you want to enjoy it. Yeah, if you're yeah. not having fun with this, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah. Fuck it right off. Yeah, just, dislike it. Yeah. I don't even care, man. <laughs> play it how you want to play it. Yeah. Um, because, cause, yeah, and that's the other thing. Like, sometimes I've loved playing that game, just completely just roaming around doing doing yep. the most random things and just not really paying attention. But, yeah, like, yeah. if you're making a build guide, you, you want to be at least concise and kind of, of like, course. you know, yeah. get to the yeah. point and not... That was the other part of it, too. I always wanted to make guides and stuff that get to the point yep. and just straight away tell you what you need to know. Yeah. For, uh, intro never longer than like 30 seconds yeah right so many fucking videos this isn't just talking gaming man this is talking like everything yeah there yeah. are so many fucking <laughs> tutorial videos online of like oh, i could rant about this for so long <laughs> yeah, man I can tell. There's, it's <laughs> fucked there are so many it's like i'll give you I'll, I'll just pretend to be one right okay let's do it so let's pretend DaVinci Resolve, the editing program I use. Fucking love that program. So I want to know how to use DaVinci. So I've, I've gone so on yeah, YouTube. I Googled you DaVinci. Use, clicked on you your video. Know, you want to know, right? <laughs> how do I split two clips? Oh, yeah. Press I Press B to grab the, the razor blade. Go to the point in the video where you want to split the clips. Yep. Click on it in the timeline. You can also right click and go split. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> exactly. And, then, and that's the thing. You'd be like, oh, and another way to do it. You can yeah. also do this. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Now, let me pretend that I'm one of these one of yeah. these fucked tutorial so I've just clicked right. the first one on the list yep, you're like Da Vinci Resolve and it's got some flashy thumbnail and he's sitting there going <laughs> yeah. Da Vinci Resolve how to do this yeah. or whatever and you're like or oh, Vegas Pro or whatever your program is yeah, yeah. and then they go hey how you going it's Johnny Goodsman <laughs> and I'm here today with another Da Vinci Resolve video and today you know but we're going to be talking about 
something. All right, we're going to be talking about it's a really cool tool. It's the cutting tool. Now, but before I get to that, here's a quick little video from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Ray Chatter Legend. They go into that for like two minutes. It'll be two minutes of that. You fucking skip that bit. You're already like three minutes into the fucking video. Yeah. It's like, all right, wasn't that great word from our sponsor, Ray Chatter Legends? All right, now back to the video. So I've used DaVinci Resolve for about five years now, and I first got it back in version blah, blah, blah. And it's yeah. such a good program. It's so great. You should try it too. Now, the thing about DaVinci Resolve is it's, you know, it's changed my whole workflow, and I just love it. Now, the cutting tool, it's one of the tools. There's a few other tools I like to use. I like the um oh wait no though look we'll talk about that in another video and you're at five minutes and you're still all right don't know how to use now the let's tool. get right into the video yeah and thanks all right guys before we do that though don't forget to like subscribe and smash <laughs> that like button and the bell button and uh you know i just i love the i love the car you guys and the support you've been giving me all right now now let's get into it seven minutes into seven. the video of a 10 minute video. Yeah, of a 10 minute video. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, all right, so what you want to do, you want to click that little razor blade with your, with your left mouse button. You can also press B for the hotkey. And you go down and you clip in the timeline and you click on it where you want to cut it in half. Yeah. <laughs> or you can right click and split it playhead. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell. And I'll see you next time for some more quick, quick. Da Vinci Resolve tutorials. <laughs> Please. Fucking Johnny... Was Goodsman, Johnny Goodsman? I think was what I said. <laughs> Johnny Goodsman, Johnny you Goodsman. fuck. <laughs> you All the Johnny Goodsmans twat. out there get fucked. You absolute <laughs> dick nibbling shit tards. Oh, Jesus. That's what I, I heard. Church is triggered. <laughs> I am triggered, man. Like, and that, it. that is what inspired me to be like, yep. nah, man, cut that shit. Mm. So I'm just like, so my intros will be like, hey guys, Churchy here. All right, I'm really loving this game, blah, blah, blah. Here's a quick build. Like, here's a build that you can do. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep, like, straight I'll, I'm it. straight to the point. Just or wait like to, in the reviews, I'll be a bit longer, but it's like, still like... Just wait for that Raid Shadow Legends fucking sponsor, dude. Fuck, man. <laughs> it's so... It's just so like... It is so annoying when... And that's the other thing too. I mean, now there's chapters as well, so it can make yep. some of it easier. But yep. like, it's just so annoying when there's like a 10 minute video, you need like 30 seconds of information. Yeah. And some... Or like ten different fuckers out there yeah. have all just done the same thing <laughs> and, and surrounded it with the same shit. Yeah. Like if I ever do any of that right, I just put it at the end. Like if I, yeah. you know, if I'm like want to mention something else, it'll be at the end of the video. The yeah. first thing, like if I was doing if I was doing a DaVinci Resolve video, like how to use the cutting tool, right? I'd be like, hey guys, Churchy here. So today I'm going to show you how to cut in DaVinci Resolve. So what you want to do is click B, Press go B. to the timeline. <laughs> Find where you want to cut the clip and click on yeah. the clip. Yeah. Or you can right click, split a playhead, <laughs> or blah, blah, blah. Like yeah, I just talk yeah. about, that'll be it. Yeah. And then I'll be like, and if you guys found this helpful, blah, blah, blah. You can, I mean, I don't ask people. Don't forget to check out Raid but Shadow I'll be like, Legends. Hey, you know, but hey, if you guys like, yeah, if you guys like this video, check out my sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> yeah. Raid Shadow Legends is a blah, blah, blah game with yada, 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 and some heroes that do some stuff. It's fucking fantastic. And everybody loves it. You should try it. Yep. <laughs> But just wait anyway, me. that's just. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you, I'm you hearing you. Got me going. Man. I'm here. You, I you did. Me? I don't know. I don't even know how we got here, but we're here. <laughs> let's quickly. <laughs> Neither do I. Let's try getting in reverse. I got myself there. <laughs> let's do a Yui. Um, What's that song? <laughs> Flip it and reverse it, or whatever. Yeah, Missy Elliott. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, don't even get me started on Missy Elliott. No, anyway, um, oh. Well. Chanty. I didn't realize I could get that triggered by that, but... No, either did I. We've learned a lot today. No, we have. We've learned a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot about my deep-seated just anger and, For anyone and named Johnny Goodsman. Well, not really anger, but frustration. Yeah. Like, Fuck you, Johnny <laughs> Fuck you. So, Churchy, you, you have been pretty public with your health lately. Yes, you, yes, you, You've put a, a video on YouTube, which was yep. very hard to watch. Yeah, um, I need no, to make for, another one. For knowing things are much so better now. But anyway. Good. I hope you do. I hope you do. <laughs> um, now, you've obviously, your leaps and bounds above from where you were at yep. that time of that yep. video and stuff like that. You're streaming again. Yep. Your video your content on YouTube is much more frequent. Yep. Um, you've obviously got the strength and the energy and 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 that to do that. Yep. What are your next plans? Where, where are you going to be in six months' time? <sighs> um, so I think my, well, my immediate plan, 
I mean, I'd love to get to the point where I'm just streaming like once a week. Yep. That's sort of all I really want to do. I'm not super huge on the Considering streaming. you stream twice um, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but still, even if it's like twice on one day yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah I'm hearing it'll you. Just be, it'll be like, like you've like got a, a day pencil yeah, game to yeah, stream. Yeah, like something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then just like a couple of different times, cater to a couple of different time zones or whatever. Yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, so a little bit more streaming. Hopefully get it to once a week. Yeah. Um, YouTube videos, I'd love to get that to once a week as well, which could happen, but, and it may become more frequent than that. It just yep. sort of depends um, what I'm playing and what I'm working on. And um, and then the other part of that would be uh, start incorporating like some more, you know, well, start making like hiking videos or, yep. or camping videos or whatever, yeah, yeah. something in that realm. Yeah. And then maybe some filmmaking as well. Nice. And then also just more music and stuff. And yep. start making more yep. more songs uh, and more film clips for songs, like more music videos. Yeah. So like, because yeah. that's that's like another slightly different side of the music. Because I also make like metal tracks and yeah, whatever. Yep. Where you do all the instruments yeah, and vocals yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. yeah. So um. Yep. But so those ones are, are they're like the ones that I put on Spotify and yep. so it's a different realm than the, the band camp ones. Yeah. This is yeah. like a, these are the ones where I'm like, all right, I'll keep making tracks and maybe eventually make an EP yep. and then try and maybe get a band together and blah, blah, blah. So yep. that's much more in that realm. But I think with those ones, um, I'd love to like in the style of the one I just released the other week, <clears throat> I'd love to make like a six track EP or something. Yep tab it all up because I've already written the tab for the first one oh, or at nice. least enough of it to yeah. get the gist and be able yeah, to show nice. someone how to play it um, but I'd love to get like a six track EP yep. um, have all the tabs ready to go and then maybe start approaching people and be like hey yep. would you want to make a band yeah 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 but I'll be very slow and cautious <laughs> with that because as we talked about well, that bands. Be, you know, bands <laughs> yeah. exactly would you ever and especially at our age it's so much harder even oh, now like, yeah. and that's what's funny yeah. as like you think back to like when we were trying and it's like, you know, we're 15, 16, 17. Yeah. And back then it was a fucking nightmare. Oh, so yeah. now... Because it's like all you've got to worry about is school and now it's like there's just so much more. Now people have families and yeah. commitments and yeah. jobs. and Yeah. Oh. But anyway. Would you ever um, write music for bands? Like would you... Potentially. S- sell or, you know, provide music to a band, do you reckon? Maybe. Obviously you'd um, rather keep it and play it yourself i mean potentially yeah like if someone heard my song or whatever and they were like oh we want to use this as our band or whatever yeah i'd be like yeah all right if you'll pay me a bit of money or whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure, man go for yeah, it yeah yeah um depending what it was like if it was yep. something so if it was like one of the tracks like the ones that i want to make for this ep or whatever yep. that, then i'd be like eh, nah because i'm probably trying obviously to they me- but, you've but, written these songs they yeah. mean something to you yeah, yeah. but but i think it depends on the scope of the project because yep. like for this one like i said i want to try and write like an ep yeah then maybe see if I can get a band going. Yeah. I doubt it will happen. Yeah. But, um, whereas say I, I just wrote, say I just wrote an individual yep. random metal song or whatever. Yep. I was like, oh yeah, I like this one. Then they were like, oh, we want to use it. And I'll be like, yeah, sure. Like, yeah. Yeah. If it's, if it's already fulfilled what I want it to fulfill for me, then I'll be like, yeah, yeah sure. Like, like the writing process or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. be like, go for it. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Sweet. Well, it's been a good insight to content creation. Um, I'm sure people, like before doing this, I I would be like, why can't my favorite YouTubers make more videos? Yeah. Why is it one a week? You know, why not three a week? Because it takes a long time. <sighs> so fucking long. We made a short 40 second thing and it took like four hours <laughs> plus mm. the time you spent editing yeah. it. <laughs> so it probably took like eight, eight hours, hours total. Because then 40 I was seconds. talking about recording for it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it TAE, takes a long time. Element TE 137. 137. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Check it out on the Hobby Homies YouTube channel. A little short little, little teaser featuring for, a, for a possible upcoming mm-hmm. uh, tabletop sort of board gamey type deal. Yeah, skirmish game. Skirmish game. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. That's the words I'm looking for. <laughs> um, thanks for tuning in, guys, for this uh, slightly different episode. Yep. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed my uh, my rant about <laughs> about tutorials and stuff. So They're going to start a hashtag, dude. Yeah. Fuck Johnny Goodsman. Yeah, fuck Johnny Goodsman. <laughs> oh, can't stand him. Nah, fuck that guy. Um, as always, guys, you can check out our stuff on hobbyhomies.com. There's links there for the merch, um, Discord server, everything like that. Um, and, of course, massive thank you to our patrons.
There it is. <laughs> As always, shouting out to Burnsy, Whack, Farm Dinosaur, MJ, Lethal, Moose, Pinny, and Gridlock. And we got Alco, Churchy, Rad Rooster, Oliver, Hawkers, Agro, Foggy, Adrian, and Big Roach. <laughs> you actually did it. Yeah, well, I was like, oh, yeah, I was of bit. course, you're filling in for Fox. I wasn't though. as good as Fox, though, <laughs> no, with that one. But anyway. Big Roach. Yeah, I, I fucked that up a little bit. Nah, right. But you, co- you covered it. it was, I covered you it. had I your covered, own all bases like, covered. flair on it. And I did that yeah. on the fly, too. We you didn't did. talk about that beforehand. No, we didn't. So. Just threw you in the deep end there. Legit. <laughs> he did. He threw me in the deep end, and I was. I can do this. Yeah. Then, yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you on the next one. Next week will be better. Fox will be back. Maybe. Peace. Hooroo. Woo! Big up to the boys. Fox and Shane. Set your minds free. No locks and chains. Do what you love. Roll the dice. 50 50. We cold as ice. One thing cold. But a pretty time red. Hey! 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 Hey